The Lies of Locke Lamora is a 2006 fantasy novel by American writer Scott Lynch, the first book of the Gentleman Bastard series. Elite con artists, calling themselves the Gentleman Bastards, rob the rich of the city of Camor, based on late medieval Venice, but on an unnamed world. Two stories interweave, in the present, the Gentleman Bastards fight a mysterious Grey King taking over the criminal underworld, alternate chapters describe the history of Camor and the Gentleman Bastards, in particular, Locke Lamora. The Gentleman Bastards are masters of deception, disguise, and fine cuisine. Father Chains, their garista, leader, is a priest of the Crooked Warden, the God of Thieves. He buys troublesome youth Locke for his gang. Through a series of confidence tricks on the rich, they defy the secret peace, an unspoken agreement between the criminal underground and the Duke's government which allows for the existence of organized crime with the understanding that the peerage and the servants of justice are off limits. After Chain's death, Locke becomes garista of the group, consisting of Jean Tannen, an expert fighter, Kahlo and Galdo Sanza, Jack of all trades identical twins, and Bug, a young apprentice. Their wayward female associate Sabatha is mentioned, but resides elsewhere during the events of the novel. The criminal underworld of Camor is ruled with an iron fist by the Kappa Bar Zavi, who collects a commission on all criminal activity under his purview. Under Locke's leadership, the gentlemen bastards are known as a small gang of gentrified but petty thieves and pickpockets, and their dues, though regularly paid, are relatively small. Secretly, the bastards have actually been using elaborate schemes to swindle various nobles out of large sums, and have amassed a considerable fortune. They purchase the trinkets they pass on to Barzavi as tribute, in accordance with their small-time reputation. What little is spoken of their operations is credited to the shadowy thorn of Camor. Locke pretends to be Lucas Fairwhite, a merchant from Emberlane, to con Don Lorenzo Salvara and his wife. Meanwhile, a mysterious criminal, calling himself the Grey King, has been killing Barsavi's most trusted garistas. Fearing for his safety, Barzavi has sequestered himself in his ship fortress, the Floating Grave. Locke finds himself face to face with the Grey King and his hired bondsmid the Falconer, who somehow know what the gentlemen bastards have been up to. Locke agrees to impersonate the Grey King in an arranged meeting with Barzavi in exchange for the Grey King's silence as well as the bondsmage's magical protection from Barsavi's wrath during the meeting. The Grey King murders Barsavi's daughter Nazca and delivers her body to the Kappa in a barrel of horse urine. Locke is forced to continue with the plan, even though he knows that now Barsavi will never negotiate. At the meeting, Barsavi manages to circumvent a disguised Locke's magical protection, having him severely beaten and left to drown in a barrel. Jean and Bug save him, but they realize that the Grey King has double-crossed them, they return to their secret lair and find their wealth stolen and the Sansa twins brutally murdered. An intruder kills Bug and nearly Jean and Locke, who swear revenge. Locke goes to the floating grave in disguise, where Barzavi is celebrating the Grey King's supposed death. Suddenly two of Barsavi's trusted bodyguards, the fierce Berengia sisters, turn on him and cut down Barzavi and his two sons. The Grey King, whom Locke deduces is the brother of the Berengia's twins, appears, introduces himself as Kappa Raza, and claims Barsavi's empire as his own. Left without resources and needing funds to somehow strike back at Raza, Locke tries to complete the con against the Salvaris. Meanwhile, Jean investigates the after-dark activity of Raza's minions, and realizes that the new Kappa is secretly loading his newfound wealth onto a ship supposedly quarantined for plague. Before Jean can tell Locke, he is ambushed by the Berengia sisters. He manages to kill both, but is seriously wounded himself. The Duke Spider, Camer's secret spymaster, who is actually the elderly Don of Orkenza, has learned that the Salvaras are being conned by the mysterious Thorn of Camor. She and the Salvaras lure Locke to the Duke's annual celebration, and he barely escapes. Returning to their hideout, Locke finds Jean incapacitated by the bondsmage sorcery, which relies on the use of Jean's true name. Locke, whose real name is not known, overpowers the falconer and tortures him for information. Wary of revenge by other bondsmages should he be killed, Jean and Locke remove his fingers and tongue so he cannot gesture or speak spells, leaving him alive but insane. Kappa Raza has planned his revenge against Barzavi and the nobles of Camor since childhood, when his parents were murdered as collateral damage from the secret peace. To destroy the peers, he gives the Duke of Camor four sculptures, 
actually time bombs filled with a substance that will cause all of the nobles and their children present at the celebration to slide into permanent mindlessness. Locke races back to the tower from which he escaped and manages to convince Orkenza and the Salvaras of the danger, and the devices are defused. He next coerces the spider to set him free to kill Raza, and not put him on trial for theft as a reward for saving their lives. Borkenza agrees when Locke has shared the location of the stolen money, he tells her that Raza has hidden his treasure on a waste barge, and instructs her to destroy the plague ship and its crew before Raza can use it to infect the city. Locke faces Raza in mortal combat even though he is outmatched by the Kappa's skills with a sword, and is nearly killed before managing to distract Raza for the split second he needs to finally slay him. When no treasure is found on the barge, Borkenza realizes that the thorn tricked her into destroying the ship filled with Raza's fortune, which is now an offering to the god of thieves for Locke's murdered friends. Later, Jean and Locke, recovering from their injuries, sail away to a new life. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.